the member from member from Santa Mar. Well, Mr. Speaker, um, I, I didn't hear any clear, firm commitments, but Mr. Speaker, not only are we falling behind our neighbours in Nova Scotia on renewable energy, but we're falling behind our neighbours in PEI on affordable and accessible public transportation to serve the common good. Earlier this fall, Premier King announced a Tooney transit system that will begin offering services on two bus routes with the goal of expanding across their province. Best of all, Premier King called the initiative an easy investment for the government to make, costing only a couple hundred thousand dollars to get it rolling. <laughs> New Brunswickers would greatly benefit from an accessible public transportation system that would not only help them reduce their carbon emissions, uh, but also help rural residents access jobs and health care appointments. New Brunswick has a public transportation strategy from 2017, but it's been collecting dust for years because no minister has the mandate to implement it. Will the Premier fix this by assigning the mandate for public transportation to one of his cabinet ministers? The Honourable the Premier. You know, I, I will discuss that point because, you know, I think there is an opportunity throughout this province to establish a better transit system. And it's to look at our entire network, Mr. Speaker, and how we manage it in, 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 in its entirety to say, what do we do differently? And so when we talk about a wage mandate, Mr. Speaker, for 55,000 employees, that's why the point is to be fair and reasonable so we pay the right amount to ensure that we are being competitive with our, with our counterparts in, in the Atlantic region, but also, Mr. Speaker, to ensure we can invest in things not just wages, Mr. Speaker, because we need to do better, we need to do more, and we need to have access throughout this province for everyone, whether it be for health care services, whether it be just to get around to see families, Mr. Speaker, for those who can't. And the more people we have in the bus, the better it is. So, Mr. Speaker, I am very committed to doing something differently in that regard, and so are my colleagues, Mr. Speaker, but you know what? We can't have it all. We have to manage with what we have to drive change. And how do we innovate? And just sitting here, just throw money at it, is going to fix it, Mr. Uh, Speaker. Let's be innovative.